Namaste Television Company Western Army represent the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. Baku intends to begin military action. The armed forces of Baku opened fire in the direction of the army and location of Kut and Terry. Baku refused to communicate with EU observers. Residents of Boskebar village addressed the Yerevan authorities with the message. Matthew Miller announcement about the army and EU-US meeting in Brussels. The little singers of Lyon Far is arriving in Armenia. An Armenian church was put up for sale in Sebastian. The announcement of the EU observers was unexpected for Baku as their plan did not work. Baku has recently changed its strategy in the field of diplomacy. Before Baku, the statements of territory of Baku were direct statements without hiding the bigotry towards the territories of Armenia using the unofficial names and maps of the territories of Armenia. Now they use a rhetoric strategy with other tactics. For several days, Baku has been announcing that they have achieved a historic period with Eastern Armenia through various official ways when the signing of the peace treaty is near. These announcements have names and those names are Europe and the USA. The head of Baku is trying to show that they are also interested in establishing peace in the region, but they are already starting their acts with another step. In the next step, they start spreading a statement expressing concern about the alleged military movements taking place in Eastern Armenia. With this statement, Baku is trying to show international partners as if they are in favor of peace, but Eastern Army is not as if carrying out military operation in the front line. Baku is well aware that unilateral action will not be possible in case of border demarcation, therefore they try in case to bring everything to a military conflict. The international structures also understand this, and now they are doing everything to prevent military aggression, as the statement of the EU observers was a failure of the military operation at this stage. According to the message issued by the Ministry of Defense of Baku, Allegedly, on April 1 at 22 o'clock, the units of the Republic of Army Armed Forces opened fire in the direction of the Baku position located in the southwest part of the border zone. Armed Forces opened fire in the direction of Baku position located in the southwestern part of the border zone. Later on, the Ministry of Defense of the Republic of Eastern Armenia denied it, and at the same time, they informed that, and on April 2, in the Rish Unique Region, units of Baku Armed Forces opened fire on the direction of Armenian position. In the message of the Ministry of Defense of Baku, no violations were recorded in the pacified directions. Baku refuses to communicate with the EU observers. The EU mission in Armenia performs an important function to ensure transparency. It is open for cooperation with Baku. Toiba Galar, the EU special representative for the crisis in Georgia and the South Caucasus, wrote about it in social networks. If there are concerns, they should be a result in the safe environment as provided by the EU mission in Georgia, with regular contacts with all parties, wrote Klar. Residents of Voskebar village of Tavush region arrest to the Yerevan authorities with a message. The message is as follows. We, the undersigned, the border guard of Tavush region, residents of the village of Oskepar, express our deep concern regarding the co recent statement made by various representatives of the government of the Republic of Armenia, particularly your statement, regarding the return of the territories near our settlement to the Azerbaijan side. They also talked on the situation was arising in the region. They talk as follows. The border left to us as a heritage by the former Soviet state were intentionally so tangled and distorted that our roads connecting the rest of Armenian settlements were under the control of Azerbaijanis. Immediately after the collapse of the USSR, the Azeris started violence against our citizens in those road sections, and then they, in 1991, started to wrap the citizens of Republic of Armenia. In those years, more than 40 citizens of the Republic of Armenia were kidnapped and captured from our and neighboring settlements and disappeared from those roadblocks. In 1991, all the houses in the Jamidor district of Oskepar were looted, destroyed, blown up by the enemy, and the village was almost constantly subjected to shelling. Only after all that, we started fighting, protecting, and conquering for our right to live, for free movement and not to occupy territories. We managed to do it only in 1992 at a very high cost, at the cost of victims and mutilated lives. Today, when under the false thesis of territorial integrity of the state, public announcements about the return of these territories are on the square. It is completely unacceptable for us. And where is the right to live and move freely by the universal declaration of human rights given to us? Even today, when we are at a certain distance from the enemy's position, we are regularly attacked by the enemy and our country cannot ensure the safety of our children. What will happen when these territories are returned and Turkish element will appear? 
when we will again be isolated from the outside world surrounded by a hostile element. Return the territories under its control of the sovereign territory of Armenia in our territory, about 900 hectares of the Berkaber village on the left bank of the Jogazir Reservoir, Koti, too free and the border areas controlled by them with a layer of 10 km, not to mention Artsvashe and other areas as well. We are sure that the opponent does not even think about it. We should explain to the, to the government of the Republic of Armenia about the strategic significance of even the smallest retreat of the borders in this area, the disruption of state security, but we have to emphasize that as a result of the territory concession in this part of the border, not only the border towns of Berkaber, Sariganis, Zagavan, Kirans, Voskepar, Paganis will suffer. In the daily speeches of the president of our neighboring country, we hear more demanding aspirations towards our country, on Zangezur, Sevan, even Yerevan. In the end, we would like to express hope that you will follow our word and try to find other solutions in this region, which will not be at the expense of compromising the already existing strong defense lines, violating the right of the population of our settlements to live and move freely. We, the undersigned, express our disapproval on the territorial demands presented by the Azerbaijan and territorial concessions in this part of the border. We are ready to defend our right to live and move freely at any cost, to be next to our army in its ranks for the benefit of protecting our homeland and settlements. The U.S. State Department has announced that the Armenian-Azerbaijan peace process will not be the subject of the meeting between Nikol Pashinyan, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, and the Secretary of U.S. State Anthony Blinken in Brussels on April 5. Matthew Miller, the spokesman of the State Department, said this in a briefing. Let's remind that this meeting is about the reforms of Eastern Army and its democracy, economy and resilience. The peace process is not the focus of this is a meeting between the US, the AU and Armenia to discuss economic diversification, humanitarian aid, support for refugees and support for political reforms in Eastern Armenia in the areas of democracy and the rule of law. It is not a meeting directed to the regional questions. Earlier, the Ministry of State stated that they do not agree with the statement of the Foreign Ministry of Baku that the meeting held on April 5 between Nikol Pashinyan, President of the European Commission Ursula von der Leyen and U.S. Secretary of the State Antony Blinken in Brussels on April 5 is obviously one-sided, biased and based on double standards. On October 5, 2023, the Prime Minister of Eastern Armenia, Nikol Pashinyan, and the President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, issued a joint statement after the meeting in Granada. Ursula von der Leyen informed about the preparation of a joint AU-US event to support Eastern Armenia. In the scope of the days of Francophone, the little singer Seth Leon, choir is coming to Armenia. This was reported by the National Chamber Music Center. On April 10, a joint concert of the Little Singers of Lyon choir conductor Simon Heberly and the Little Singers of Armenia choir conductor Tigran Hekekian will be held at the Chamber Music House named after Comitas. The concert consists of two sections, spiritual and secular. The program will include choirs of French, Italian, English, Scandinavian, German, Spanish, and other nations. In addition to the Yerevan concert on April 12, at the concert of the Little Singers of Lyon, choir will take place at the music school named after Eduard Hartmann in Vanazor. Recently, in the Armenian Church of St. Svetat in a public province in Sebastia was put up for sale. And in connection with that incident, George Aslan, member of parliament from Mardin of People's Equality and Democracy Party, sent a request to the Minister of Culture and Tourism of Turkey, Mehmet Nure Arso. The website of Akos Weekly newspaper reports about this. It is stated in the message, do you have information about the sale of the church through the internet, which was reflected in the press? The second question, is the assumption correct that the property right of the aforementioned church belongs to an ordinary person? If it is true, so how and under what condition was the certificate of ownership of the church given to a person? The third question, how many churches and monasteries are there, the property rights of which belong to you, ministry? What is the number of churches and monasteries that people passed on or up for the sale during the period of X rule? And how many churches and monasteries are there, the property rights of which belong to your ministry? Are you doing anything in the direction of prohibiting sales of church, monasteries, and other religious institutions by individuals? Are any operation being done, or will they be done against the owners of churches and monasteries whose property rights have been given to individuals in order to return those religious institutions? This was all for today. Goodbye.
Oh, oh, oh.